Hey guys, so Devin Xeon here. Today we're going to be playing The Moon, which, to the extent of my knowledge, is a point and click escape the room type of game starring Luna. And that's about all I know. So this will be interesting. I really don't know what to expect, but let's jump right on into it. Everyone has the, his own sight in darkness inside. All those emotions and feelings, they grow stronger with every minute of your life. And when they overfill you, bad things might happen. Oh, I see. Episode 1. Not the moon. Luna. Wake up. Oh, it's a voice. Wake up, Luna. I heard a voice calling me. It was very gentle and familiar, even though I couldn't recognize it. There was something soft under my cheek. For a moment I thought that I was lying in my bed, but soon that feeling vanished without a trace. Luna, open your eyes. Wake up, girl. Wake up, girl! The silent voice had been keep try keeping trying to wake me up, surprisingly. It was really hard to lift my eyelids. After a while I managed to actually open my eyes and saw that I was lying on a red carpet. On a familiar red carpet. Hmm... Where am I? Ah, finally. Huh? Who... Who are you? Why, it is me, your old companion. This was when she appeared in front of me. Her dark blue coat and light blue mane made me think that I had been looking into a mirror. There were very little differences between us. Though her mane was not transparent and just a normal mane, like the one I had in my childhood. You! It is because of you all this happened! Nightmare Moon! No, it is not true. Or at least not entirely. Am I supposed to believe that? Of course I couldn't believe her. Before I lost my consci con consciousness, when my sister sent me to the moon, it was this man who changed me into my evil self. But something was different in this pony. Like, like she was completely different. She went closer as if trying to show me something. Look at me, Luna. Do you really think that I... Who has been beside you all this time could, can possibly make you suffer this fate? I... I don't know. I don't know what to believe now. The mayor just nodded to that last sentence of mine. I understand you. And I'm not asking you to believe me right away. We have more important things to think about. Like, where are we? Oh, 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 shit, sorry. Like, where are we? Exactly. Well, no. You actually can say where we are pretty easily. But it is more about why we are here. Yes. The identity of this place was obvious. I'd been spending a lot of hours here at night. It is the throne room. Yep. But I don't think it is the same room we know and probably love. Well, it looks the same. The fact that we should be on the moon is what bothers me. Yeah, that is strange. Why are we inside of the castle? My guess is that it is not a real place. I was able to materialize it, and that is kind of a proof. So, is this a dream? No. I think it is more of a war. It's more like a world. Think of it as being in another town. Whoever put us here doesn't want us to be free. And who was it? The one who transformed you into this evil form of yours, and called it by my name in between. Come to think of it, I did feel like being in the thick fog while me and Tia... Tia, were fighting. Does she ever call her Tia? I don't know. That is because whoever it was, he put you under a powerful spell. I couldn't recognize which one exactly. What a shame. Whoa, 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 he? 
Who's saying it's a guy? I'm sorry I accused you all of a sudden. She really was by my side all this time and I... It is okay. I would do the same if I were in your place. It feels like I'm talking to myself. This is weird. Not like I could ever be. She chuckled. No, Smear was not that creature that turned me into a monster. Nightmare Moon that stood before me was the one who was saying at least one word in a day inside of my head since I was a little filly. She called herself a companion, and it wasn't really far from the truth. Whenever I was going to do something wrong, she had been there warning me. Sometimes she had been calling me, oh shit, sometimes she had been telling me something funny when I was sad or just giving me an advice if I was in a difficult situation. I think I can easily say that she was my best and probably my only friend. And how could I even suspect her? So, is this how you really look? Pretty much. I didn't have much time to do a makeup. Oh, but a makeup? But this is how you thought of me when we met for the first time. Oh yeah, you did say something about me giving you an appearance. Yeah, well, this is how you saw yourself in the future. It always, It is always like that for someone who has an inner companion. They think that he or she should look like them for some strange reason. Nice to finally meet you in person, Knight. What's with these nicknames? <laughs> Same here, Luna. Though I could see you while you were inside of your subject's dreams. Wait, what? You were inside of your subject's dreams? That's kind of creepy. Eh? Then why haven't you tried to talk to me? Yeah, right. And wh what would I say? That I'm your inner voice that sometimes calls you an idiot and saves your flank from making stupid mistakes? Please, don't tell me you would believe that. Well, maybe not. That's a relief. Any ideas on how to get out of here? Well, start from the most obvious. Let's check the doors. And if they're locked, we'll find the key. Good plan. But you will have to do it yourself. I can't even lift anything for some reason. I'm just kind of a ghost here, I guess. Okay, let's look around to see if we can find anything useful. Okay, finally, into the gameplay. Alright, let's see here. Examine the throne. Check the fountain. Ooh, what's this? Key. That's what I said. Now that will come in handy. If we will be able to find out what, what it does unlock. Okay, so that was it. Well, what about this? Oh, maybe it's the drain. How do I go back? That's music. That's... I don't know what. Go back. Yeah. Check the pillow. There's gotta be a doll in here, right? I lost a teeth yesterday. Take the ring! Nice. I think it would fit you. Why, thank you! I don't have any fingers, but I'll, I'll take it. I have so much desire to walk around with a ring on my horn while being in this kind of situation. Oh, the horn. Let's see. Your sarcasm is none... Oh, shit, that was sarcasm? Ah, man, I love sarcasm. Why did I miss that? Your sarcasm is unnecessary here. We have to go back. Check behind the throne. Oh, check the safe. Open the safe. I can't open it without a proper key. Like the one I have? Oh, I must stand for inventory. Yes. Wait, how do I... Check. Just an ordinary key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But can I use it? I should be able to... Oh, what's that? What's that? Go back. Oh, go back? But there's... Oh, I see. I have, equ I have equipped it. Not a proper key. But... Uh, I have a key. Maybe it's not the right key. Nonetheless, go back. Go back. Go back. Examine the table. It's like under the table. Oh, there's another key. Aha! A key! Any idea what it does unlock? Not a single one. Don't worry, we'll find out sooner or later. Check. Can't you 
check on top of the table? Go back. I'll turn right. I don't want to turn right. Okay, let's go back. Check behind the throne. Check the table. Open the safe. Can't open it without the proper key. Okay, I have two keys now. Golden key. Open the safe. Yes! Take the box. What's in the box? I don't know. Let's take it anyway. Who knows what it is? What is inside? Why don't you just check? But I wonder, what are those round holes for? There must be a creature in there then. You know, air holes. Check. There are two round holes on the top of it. Ah. I have to go back. Check the pump. Alright, there's nothing interesting here. Let's go. Alright, that's on. Turn right. Examine wall. Open safe. Ah, well, I have another key. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. What's with all these rings? Hey, nice ring. It looks like a wedding ring. How would you know? I just have a feeling that it is. Hey! If I've, ever, if I've never been married, doesn't that mean I have never been on weddings? What, what kind of question is that? If I have never been married, that doesn't mean I have never been on weddings. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, relax. That's all right. Turn right. Check the doors. Oh, then I want to turn. See this first. That's a window? Oh, those are windows. <laughs> I thought they were part of the wall. I can't see anything. Not even a single star. That is strange. Yeah. Alright, so there's nothing here. Alright, then let's go to the door.